Can we clone dinosaurs, like in Jurassic Park? Dinosaurs are cool. I don't make the rules, they just are. So why are we putting so much effort into cloning mammoths, but not dinosaurs? Let's get into it. There are different types of cloning that work for different things, from strands of DNA, to plants, and to animals. In this context, we will be looking at somatic cell nuclear transfer. In this method, a nucleus from a somatic or body cell is injected into an ovum or egg cell that had its nucleus removed, and then a small shock is applied to stimulate the cell. If successful, the ovum becomes a zygote and starts to develop as a normal embryo. The embryo is then implanted into a surrogate, and 1, 2, 3, if things go well, you get a baby that is a genetic copy of the organism that donated the original somatic cell. Here is where we start hitting problems with cloning dinosaurs. Dinosaurs reproduce by laying eggs, which does not lend itself to this method of cloning. In fact, we can currently clone mammals, but we can't really clone birds or reptiles for this reason. The reproductive system makes growing the embryo a challenge that still hasn't been worked out. If we could make a dinosaur embryo, we would have no way to gestate it. I'm not saying it's impossible to implant an embryo into an egg, but it's not feasible currently. One workaround is to modify the gonads of an existing species so the gametes it produces contain the DNA of the target species. The modified animal would lay eggs that hatch into a different bird. This is a problem with dinosaurs, as we don't have any species that are close enough to any of the dinosaurs, even the theropods, for this to structurally work. Artificial wombs of any species that can successfully grow an embryo from zygote to infant are still not a thing, but it is being worked on, so who knows. With mammoths, we can use existing Asian elephants as both surrogates and to fill in the DNA. A cloned mammoth would most likely not be a pure mammoth, but an Asian elephant that had applicable mammoth genes spliced in. The closest living relative to the T-Rex based on proteins and anatomy is the chicken. Would be problematic to say the least. And this leads us to our next problem. To clone something, you need DNA. Specifically, you need either an entire gene sequence like that found in a cell, or a full gene map that would allow you to build the DNA in full. With mammoths, we've been able to sequence its genome from samples of many, many frozen remains. We need many samples because DNA is rather fragile and degrades over time. Under normal conditions, it will halve itself every 521 years. Under ideal conditions, degradation is slowed, so animals frozen in permafrost for only a few thousand years offer better chances of finding usable DNA. Combining all the samples together, you can build a full gene sequence. With dinosaurs, the youngest dinosaur fossils we can find are 66 million years old. As a result, we don't find any DNA in most fossils mm, at all. Only recently did we find preserved soft tissue such as collagen and possible red blood cells in a T-Rex bone. And only in the last couple years did we maybe find fragments of T-Rex DNA. But I want to stress that if confirmed, they are just remnants, broken base pairs or genetic residue, not anything readable or sequenceable. The time spans are just too long for usable DNA to survive, even if they were frozen. No DNA, no cloning. So Jurassic Park style dinosaurs aren't happening, we just can't get any usable DNA from them. But there is a way to possibly get dinosaur-like creatures. Paleontologist Dr. Jack Horner has long been an advocate of creating theropod dinosaurs by reverse engineering chickens. This idea sounds fun as is, but the research into tail development conducted by Horner and his team of geneticists may actually help in the development of treatments for people with spine disorders in the future. Other teams have been successful in producing chicken embryos with dinosaur-like snouts and others with more dinosaur-like legs. These monsters would be small and not as cool as a full-size T-Rex, but still a dinosaur-esque creature. Honestly, our best bet for Jurassic Park is still those animatronic dinosaurs you see at some theme parks. So the answer is no, we can't clone dinosaurs. Eggs are difficult, and we have no dino DNA. So we can either make chicken sauruses or build robot zoos with all kinds of animatronics. A Jurassic Park meets Westworld combo. We can call it Crichton World, 
since both were written by Michael Crichton. Although, maybe we shouldn't, because such a park would completely miss the point of both stories. <laughs>